Transformations in the coordinate plane. Our objectives are to identify reflections, rotations, and translations, as well as graph transformations in the coordinate plane. Who uses this? Artists use transformations to create decorative patterns. Well, a transformation is a change in the position, size, or shape of a figure. The original figure is called the pre-image. And then the resulting figure after you've transformed it is the image. We use arrow notation and primes to help us figure out which one is the pre-image and the image. So the pre-image has no primes. Your first image will have one prime. If you were to create a second image, then that one would have two primes. And our arrow notation for this case would be triangle ABC with a little arrow showing that you're going to triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. Let's look at some specific transformations. A reflection, you can think of it as a flip, is a transformation that's across a line. This line is often called the line of reflection. Each point and its image are the same distance from the line of reflection. A rotation or turn is a transformation about a point. This point is called the center of rotation because each point and its image are the same distance from P. So like G and G prime are the same distance from P. All right. Our third transformation is a translation, also known as a slide, which is when you move all the points of a figure in the same direction and the same distance. Let's try to identify some transformations. Then use arrow notation to describe the transformation. Well, if we're looking at this figure, we can picture a line kind of shooting down between the two. And you can see that the two are kind of reflecting over this line. So therefore, we have a reflection. And now for arrow notation. We have triangle E, F, G is transforming into triangle E prime, F prime, and G prime. All right, how about B? Well, we can imagine a point of rotation down here because you want U to be the same distance. Actually, it might be a little bit further over. So like your U and your U prime will be the same distance. Your R and your R prime will be the same distance. So the distance between those guys is about the same and about the same there. You can be more exact if you take a ruler. So therefore, we have a rotation. And now we simply need to use arrow notation. So we've got R, S, T, U is transforming to the R prime, S prime, T prime, U prime. Let's step it up a notch. Let's try drawing and then identifying the transformation. So a figure has vertices at A is at negative 1, 4, B is at negative 1, 1, and C is at 3, 1. And then after a transformation, your image is at vertices a prime which is negative 1 negative 4 b prime is at negative 1 negative 1 and c prime is at 3 negative 1 so draw both the pre-image and the image then identify the transformation so take a moment and draw them out and see if you can identify the transformation now that you've drawn both of them it's much easier to see that the transformation in this case is a reflection
All right. Translations in the coordinate plane. So find the coordinates for the image of triangle ABC. After the translation, when you take your XY coordinate and then you're going to add three to your X's and then subtract four to your Y's. Basically, you can think of this as a rule. You're going to, to every one of your X values, you're going to add three and to every one of your y values you're going to subtract 4. So from your x value you're going to add 3, so go to the right 3, and then you're going to subtract 4, so down 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Just double check them out. Okay, so that's going to be our a prime. Alright, so now let's do the same thing with b. So we're going to go to the right 3, 1, 2, 3, and down 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then for C, to the right, 1, 2, 3, and down, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we can connect them up. And that concludes our lesson on transformations in the coordinate plane.